Rob, many of them right up here. Uh, that's the that's great. Great. The people the are open and they uh, should all look at now here he is. Here he is. And they're going to get the Samuel Bloomer, Adam Marty, H.C. Van Boros, T.A. Tanner, Howell McIntyre, A.A. A. Captain, George McNeil, John S. May, William Pirsch, George A. Oliver, William A. Morgan, R.G. Blanchard, A.C. Hospus, F.L. McCusick, Andrew Peterson, John P. Schroenbach, James Clay, Albert Caplaza, Jacob Gunson, Pat Hong He, W. H. Parker, Oscar Van Cooster, Sam Johnson, Henry Codlin, Edward A. Stevens, W. F. Schroeder, Morris A. Hart, A. H. Tipolo, Emil Graff, John S. Cobb, Peter Hall, Charles M. Rockwood, President. I hear no answer to my call. The glasses stand filled to the brim. From out the sky upon the wall, no shadow falls of face or limb. Turn out the lights. The feast is o'er. No answer to my calling comes. I stand beside a fast closed door. My pulses beat like muffled drums. The campfire smolders. Ashes fall. The clouds are black athwart the sky. No tap of drum. No bugle call. My comrades, all goodbye. The first man to back to our disorder has been custodian of this bottle of wine since its presentation to this club, yeah, uh, July 21st, 1986. And as official of the bank, I now deliver this to Mr. Lockwood, the last survivor come to me in West Minnesota. Oh, here's this book. Lockwood, take hand. Here's a letter from Mrs. McClure. Mrs. McClure, that is your card to be delivered over to the library. And you are handed to Mr. Pierce tonight. I think the button put it in the care of all the prints of the bank until there's a place, proper place provided. We have no place that will be safe just now, but we expect to have one very soon. I think you Mr. Lockwood and guests of the Last Man's Club, it gives me great pleasure to bring you officially the greeting of all of the people of the city of Stillwater. Stillwater is always held in the deepest reverence and with the most loving thought, its soldier population. And at the last regular session of our city council, we adopted the following resolution, which I want to read for you and which I want to present to you and have you preserved. In that, uh, resolved by the council of the city of Stillwater, that in view of the fact that the final annual banquet of the last man's club 
will be held on July 21st, 1930. The mayor and members of the council, as the official representatives of the citizens of our city, deem it an honor and a privilege to proclaim to the world their admiration and reverence for those 101 gallant young men and boys of Stillwater and Washington County who, 69 long years ago, promptly responded to the call of the immortal Lincoln for volunteers to fight in defense of the Union in the Civil War by enlisting in Company B of the 1st Minnesota Volunteer Infantry at Fort Snelling, composed of men whose fighting qualities, daring and bravery in battle made them famous the world over. 